Good morning everybody and once again welcome to the video. In this video we are going to learn about cross account event bridge. So basically the use case is very very straightforward. I'm, the reason I'm making all these videos is when you work in um, any company right M maybe it's a mid size small size the company might be leveraging control tower meaning each team or project might have a separate AWS account. Now let's take a very simple use case and let's try to build this okay. It's fairly common, let's say uh, there's a payment team. The payment team is responsible for handling all the payment events. Now, basically, they are the one, basically, you know, uh, they have all the infrastructure, everything, all that stuff is great. Now, anytime a payment is, you know, made, um, they are essentially broadcasting that event on event bridge. But now that event bridge is in the payment AWS account. Now. Uh, you know, you, the, uh, your manager or, you know, you guys have decided to make a transactional data lake, right? So basically, you want to bring those events. So the data team AWS account want to subscribe to the payment team's event bridge, which is in different account or different region, right? So how do we essentially achieve this? Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you with a small demo. Uh, so let's get started. Again, I'm going to leave some of the articles as well that I've been reading late night. Uh, again, really, really great on how, you know, you can work uh, cross account, cross region, but uh, let's get started, right? So again, I'll draw a simple diagram. Again, this is your payments uh, payments team, right? And this is your data team, right? I'll, I'll put this DD. So the payment teams are broadcasting everything to the payment event bridge. And now what you want to do is basically um, the data team wants to subscribe to that event and maybe want to create a transaction data lake, right? Or maybe, right, a any use case, right? So all the data lake solution might be there in the data team account, right? So basically, whenever an event is sent to the payments uh, event bridge, we want to basically forward that event to the data team uh, event bridge. So that's what we want to learn, okay? All right, let's get started straight into action. So I'm on my AWS account and this is gonna be the, um, I'm in the US East one, which is again the payment uh, team, right? So I'm gonna create an event bus right now. I'm gonna create a bus called payment bus, okay? So again, this 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 event bus has to deal with all the payments, right? Now, <clears throat> now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the second account. Again, this is uh, in Oregon, again, cross region, you know, cross account, same thing, the, the approach is the same. So again, now I'm in, I, I am here. So basically, I actually made one um, over here. So I'm going to delete that. So now let's make um, uh, 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 an event bridge in the data team account. So we'll call this payment data team event bus. So this is the data team account, right? So I'm gonna click on create, right? So at this point we have two event bus, right? The payments uh, event bus, which is in the payments AWS account. And then we have this data team event bus, which is there in the data team account. Now what the payment needs to do, what the payment team needs to do is basically they need to broadcast these events to the data team event bus, right? So now the way they can do that is uh, you can come to the rules, then you select the payment bus. This is the one that we wanna do. Then you click on create rule and say, we'll say send event to the data team, right? Put everything here, click next. For now, I'm just gonna click all events to just show you. And then over here, if you see, now we wanna say event bridge event bus. Event bridge uh, bus, sorry, event bus is in a different AWS account or region. Now, uh, the data team guys will give you like the ARN, so you gotta get the ARN. And then what uh, the payment team will do is essentially, now they're gonna put the ARN over here, okay? So uh, as you can see, I've done that, then click on next. They're gonna create a rule. So now, basically, what's happening in the diagram, the payment team will basically broadcast all the events to the data team as well. And now, the data team can do whatever they want with that, right? So now that's done. Now I'm back in my data team account. This is the event bus that we had. Now let's essentially um, basically uh, add a uh, subscriber to that. So basically when I publish anything over here, I should see that in the SQS message basically. That's the goal, okay? So let's try that out. So um, now I'm gonna go to the SQS. I'm gonna create a queue here. So I'm gonna call this as, again, this is in the data team account, okay? Oregon. So we're gonna say payment event payment, uh, let's just do payment. Again, just a standard queue, again, nothing crazy fancy here, right? 
as you can see. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the rules. Again, this is a data team account. So here, right, I'm gonna create a rule. Uh, now I'm gonna say consumer, because this is gonna consume that one, right? I'm gonna click on next. Gonna click on all events here. Click next. And then here, um, basically we're gonna select the SQSQ. And that's my uh, data team queue, right? Click next, next, review everything and click on create rule. So at this point, what we did is basically we have a event bridge, uh, which is essentially managed by the payments uh, team. They are essentially broadcasting all the events to the, that event bus, right? Now we here, this side, we have the data team event bus. Uh, now what the payment team is doing is they are, they are essentially uh, broadcasting all the events to the data team uh, event bus. And from here, the data team can subscribe, they can uh, publish that event to the Kinesis, they could uh, build a transaction data lake, et cetera, et cetera, right? So, all right, so now it's time to test. So again, I am in the North Virginia. This is the payment bus, right? So now what are we gonna do is basically, we're gonna publish a message. So I'm gonna come here. Again, right now in the SQS, I see zero messages, okay? So here, I'm gonna send a message and I'm gonna put the event source as payment, detail type as payment. <laughs> and then I'm gonna put some payment ID here. Okay. And then I'm gonna click on send. As soon as I send this event, as you can see, if I go to the queue, right, zero messages, if I refresh, there you go, one message. Again, this is in a, a US West too, it's a different region. So now I can click on send or receive messages, poll for messages, and there you can see, uh, this basically that's your data, right? So again, makes sense, right? So this is fairly, fairly common, like when, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, teams or companies might have several AWS account and then you might need to forward the events from one account to other account or you know uh, cross region cross account it's very very common right I hope these videos help you and if you have any more questions list your question in the comments with that being said keep smiling keep programming and I'll see you guys in the next video